Oh, uh, a pardon. Uh, hello. Um, I don't know if I got the right place, but is this Erushinego? Erushinego? Something like that. Oh, I, I couldn't help but notice it had uh, the same logo as this thing on this fancy card I got. Uh, I believe I have an appointment. I mean, if I got the wrong place, <laughs> that's fine. Um, I can just go. But... Oh, oh, uh, oh, okay. So you're just going to take that. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, don't mind me. Uh, it's an invitation for uh, a seemingly important event. So uh, if you could just hand it back, I, I, I would greatly. Uh, or, or don't. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, at your leisure, sir. Oh. Uh, oh, good. I, I do have the right place. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, what's the tale? Uh, thank you. <laughs> what's your boy? Sorry. It's, um, it's a bit dark in here. I, I don't suppose you could assist me with a bit of navigation. Not exactly a talkative one. No, but then again, you always had enough of a motor mouth to carry both sides of a conversation. Uh, uh, Mr. Bryce, uh, um, it's so nice to see you again. And you too, Cream. I have to thank you for that book you sold me. Quite a stimulating read. Uh, um, what? Well, I do enjoy helping to share the enlightening love of books from time to time. I may not be what you would call a voracious reader, but I took one look at the social animal and wondered if I might be looking in a mirror. Indeed. I do recommend his follow-up work, Mistakes Were Made But Not By Me, fascinating exploration on cognitive dissonance. Snake. Been too wrong. Skunk. Oh, were, were we not doing a thing? No. Uh, okay. Uh, not, not an issue. Just uh, sweep that potential powder cake under the rug. Um, Mr. Sage! Very good company we're keeping. Very good indeed. Hello to you again. I see you've been working on your therapeutic tail grooming, like I recommended. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, it's all very soothing once you keep the knots out of the fluff. Hard to think fluff could even get knots, but uh, once the tail strikes your body size, uh, there's exceptions. <laughs> it's more likely a fur problem than broadly a tail problem. <sighs> Leave it to therapy boy to identify the problem. Ooh, uh, I take it the two of you have a history of sorts? <laughs> you could say that. Mr. Straight Laced here feels that the finer qualities of silver tongues be best left for philanthropic ventures. <laughs> I disagree. Don't we all? I've heard of your exploits in the bayou, Mr. Bearcat, traipsing along the river with a coil in your tail and plenty to prove. Ah, Gander, you don't fancy my methods of luxury appropriation? <laughs> Goodness, no. Merely pointing out your reputation precedes you. Far be it from me to toss criticism when I share a similar outlook. Though from the look on the snake's face, he doesn't quite like that idea. <laughs> I didn't come here to question the methodology of those around me. Um, excuse me. Hi. Hi. Uh, pleasure to meet you. I run the bookshop down the road. Uh, and you are? Vane. Sir Vincent Vane. Oh, so you've been knighted. Excuse me? Uh, well, well, you can't be a sir unless you've been knighted. Uh, see, Terry Pratchett was knighted. It's a great honour. I can't tell if I find you adorable or witheringly exhausting. Oh. Uh, oh. You might find it to be both. And you are? <laughs> Just a fox. A vulpine, as it were. But you can call me Mocha, sweetheart. Just Mocha. Oh! I, I think I've met your crown before. Uh, you're, you're more than just a fox, uh, perhaps like a kitsune, right? Nothing so straightforward, but points for trying. Uh, oh, oh uh, well, uh, thank you. You're certainly a cute one. I like the tail. Cream's got one of the best. Not the best, but I confess a trick on a bias in there. Hmm. Pardon the question, but why is it you call him Cream, Bryce? Because he might push himself to be cookies and cream. 
But there ain't no crunch in that one, Sherry. Oh. I, I mean, it's not exactly false. Unless she has a copy of Jekyll and Hyde on hand. Well, a little cream is just the right thing to make a mocha drink all the sweeter. Wouldn't you agree, little Oreo? Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> anybody else feel a tangle? Careful you don't get on her good side too much, bookkeeper. I know a living meme when I see one. Like, like cat videos with impact font? Like identity vampires spreading their identity up and down the cosmic bayou, cloning endlessly to their heart's content. Hard to stop a trend once it gets going. <laughs> and then some. You and my sister would get along. I can't help but notice a bit of a pattern with all of us. Were you all invited in one way or another? A delightful orca boy handed me off this card. I was tempted to get him to tell me more, but the surprise seemed all too enticing to me. I confess I also received an invitation. It was impressive, considering it was on my desk at the art gallery in the middle of the night. I don't have an address. I'm just fluttering in the wind and resting wherever my head lay. Sure enough, the card was resting on my fluff by morning time. Too curious indeed. I received mine from one of my patients. I hadn't realized that was one of the reasons he came to see me after a few visits. Well? <laughs> Gonna share, cutie? Oh, uh, oh, just, um, well, I was enjoying my tea, a nice black tea, very caffeinated. Uh, and I happened across a letter in my mailbox. That's it? Um, yes. <laughs> Oreo, as he likes to be called, is naturally curious. It's an admirable trait, but the other thing I've noticed is the way each of you carry yourselves. And the conclusion I'm coming to is, we're all hypnotists, aren't we? Correct. Mm. Of course. I, I, I mean, I, I dabble. I don't want to brag or anything. Are you? Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. I am. Uh, kind of. So, who brought us here? And more importantly, why? I see you've all been getting along, ladies, gentlemen, and that prism in between. Welcome to Erusinego. Oh, goodness. Uh, did anyone else see him pop out of the air? You run a magic bookshop, Crane. Downton Thomas ain't exactly in your repertoire. You. Dark. Been too long. How goes your ventures? Numerous and unceasing, but thank you. And Vincent, good to see you again. How is Celine? Still holding a torch, taste notwithstanding. Hmm. I apologize. I'm a bit out of my depth here. Who are you? You may call me Darkwit. It's not my name. But we find solace in naming such things. I'd find solace in your purpose in bringing us here. Oh, uh, it, is it uh, for tea? Oh, I'd love it if it was for tea. It's not for tea. Yeah, but like, uh, this is a cozy place for tea. Nice couches, lovely mood lighting. It's comfy. It ain't tea, Crane. Well, that's a nice idea. I don't think Mr. Darkwit would go through all that trouble for something so mundane. Probably an investment opportunity. Got some timeshares for us, hon? Maybe he thinks we're a threat. I ain't the kind to correct a gentleman of an opinion. Especially one as educated as that. You're all here because each of you have exquisite talents in hypnotism, mesmerization, and various forms of mental control. Whether it be psychological, hmm. magical, <laughs> or a natural talent of yours. Hmm. My desire is simple. Y'all pulling uh, past Seriously. Moment. The cups are cute. I do thank you for the tea, but, um, you were about to explain your motives. I wish to get to know you all. I wish for you to get to know each other. In exchange for limited immunity, perhaps even some investment, I offer you membership to the Arusinego Lounge as my starting members. I have invested in dozens of clubs with varying degrees of success and function, but I've never had one for hypnotists to come and talk shop. And what 
better way than to take a slice of some of the more prominent brain benders you could think of. Too altruistic. Too opportunistic. And too pragmatistic. Took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, is, is this peppermint honey? It comes in peppermint. I also have mango honey. The peppermint is a good mix with cinnamon apple herbal, I'm told. <laughs> I couldn't help but notice. Your cup doesn't have any tea. Milk. <laughs> oh, I need a warm glass before bed, I take it. Far from it. I merely prefer milk. And what's stopping you from lacing the drinks with some nanites or tracking bugs? Or deciding we need to be pushing daisies once you're done with us. Because we're already here. Hmm? Think about it, sweetheart. If he was planning on doing something malicious, he wouldn't have taken the time to set up this elaborate space, or get our favorite drinks, or even grandstand quite like this. Besides, what use would he get from tracking you? If he already knows enough to send you a private invitation. Hmm. Still trying to figure that out. Few know of my family estate's location. It's far too remote. Your sister told me. A fang-banging homewrecker. <laughs> <laughs> Looking a bit pink around them blue cheeks, batty boy. You hold your tongue. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just happy to be here. Uh, with good company and uh, good tea. And we could talk about uh, hypnosis, favorite swirls, wisping tails, that sort of thing. Share um, techniques. You sure you'd be up for such a thing, Danger Noodle? Of course. After all, that's the crux of this place's namesake, no? Hmm. And do tell me how you get at that to be the case. Eru she may go. I don't follow. Eru, like erudite, or knowledge. Uh, sewing, uh, like the wave pattern, or the Latin derivation, which means without. And ego, which speaks for itself. Knowledge without ego. Neutral ground for hypnotists. Well, color me impressed. That's a mighty silver tongue lick of poetry you got going there, Shadow Man. Some would call it pretentious. Two things can be true. <laughs> so, will you accept my invitation? The pursuit of knowledge is always a noble one. I could use some time outside of the manor, on occasion, perhaps. I'd love to come by. I so rarely get to spend time talking shop about these kinds of things. Suppose there can't be much harm sharing hot drinks and warm tales on cool nights like this. Oh, I think this will be very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, have we got any more tea? <laughs> of course. To Rusinego. May we master the mental to better understand the divine.